Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Kevin Dog back again with another video, and today I'll be going over some Pokemon news that has presented itself pretty recently. So, there's just a couple things I want to talk about. So, starting off with the expansion pass coming for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, if you look here on the eShop, basically you got the Sword and the Shield expansion pass. So, coming from Nintendo themselves, they said that the Isle of Armor is coming June 17th. But the Crown Tundra is coming fall of 2020. They didn't give an exact date for that, for example. But if you go here in the eShop, just a little thing. I don't know if they meant to reveal it yet, but... So the estimated release for the Isle of Armor, it stated June 30th. Now the reason they went with the 30th is because they said it was coming out for sure in June. But they didn't want to give a confirmed date, like June 17th, just yet. So they just said, estimate for the end of June. And it ended up coming out at around the middle of June, June 17th, in a couple of days. So, with the Crown Tundra right here, it says November 30th is the estimated date. So, with that, we can assume that towards the middle of November, possibly on the 17th or maybe on a Friday, we don't know quite yet, but we can assume just from this that the Crown Tundra will probably be coming out in November for sure. Now, the next topic I'd like to talk about is right here on the Pokey Expo. Berto Twitter, hopefully I didn't butcher that too much, they said Coro Coro, which if you look it up, so if you look up Coro Coro on the internet, and you just look at images for example, pretty much everything you see here is just leaks. All Japanese leaks, like stuff like this. This goes back to way back in the sun and moon days of Pokemon, and it's just leaks. Stuff that Coro Coro puts out is stuff from Japan, and according to this Twitter, Coro Coro has listed that the pre-sale of tickets for Pokemon Coco movie in Japan is going to be August 7th. Now, previously, this was going to come out in April with Zarude. And here's Zarude right here. This was going to come out in April, but it looks like, sadly, because of everything going on in the world, this is being delayed. So you can expect that when the DLC comes out, Zarude will not be out right away with the DLC. Now, there's also a little shiny Celebi right here in the tree. That's because the... Uh, there's also going to be a shiny Celebi code given with this. But, as well as this, something I'd like to mention is, here we have a 4chan leak. Now, this is archived, but you could still see it. But basically, this was posted by Anonymous, but 4chan, a lot of people post leaks on the site that aren't really leaks, they're just rumors, there's no proof for anything. But this was actually proven to be true with the data mines. So, you all know Pokemon Home for transferring Pokemon up. We got this list right here. Now this says, the finalized list of Pokemon without Sword Shield compatibility data mined from Pokemon Home update. This was posted on June 4th, exactly a week ago. So as you can see right here, it starts off, it goes in order from generation. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. So we got the Pidgey line, and then Paris and Parasect. But wait, it goes down to unknown. That's generation two. The only Pokemon that were not updated in Pokemon Home from this update were five Pokemon, the Pidgey line and the Paris line. Now this does not mean that everything from Kanto is going to come back within the two DLCs. Because as we go right here, the returning Pokemon link from Cerebi.net, you can see stuff like this. The Nidoran line, Zubat, we got Psyduck and Golduck, you know this is some Kanto stuff. But as you can see when you go through a couple of them. Then we go down, we're already at the Legendaries. And then it moves on to Gen 2. So, there are a lot of Pokemon that were given support, but not necessarily confirmed. Like, let's say for example, Venonat, Venomoth. That little chain. This is not on the list at all. We have no idea if those are scheduled to confirmed, but just know that they were given updates. So, the Pidgey line, Paris and Parasect, are pretty much confirmed not to be returning in either DLC. Now, moving on... We got Gen 2 right here. Now this only goes unknown Teddy Ursa and Ursaring, Stantler and Smeargle, which I was kind of surprised with Smeargle because that's a pretty good Pokemon competitive, but looks like they left some out of Gen 2 as well. But going down a bit, you know, we have, it's it gets more pretty much every generation. We go down to around here and yeah, up to right here, this is Gen 3. We got a lot of Pokemon that aren't really talked about that much. I guess Zangoose. That's kind of surprising, but stuff like Cast Form, Kecleon, you know, you can't really be surprised that they weren't updated. But then, that's all. You know, this is all for Ho or this is all for Hoenn. This is all for Johto right here. This is all for Kanto. 
Look at this. Right here we begin Gen 4 with Turtwig. It goes all the way down to here. Now this is like over double the amount presented in Hoenn. And let's see, we got... Here, let me count this up real quick. Alright, so as you can see right here on Google, there were 107 newly introduced Pokemon in the Sinnoh region. And going back here, I counted this list up. This is 34 Pokemon right here. 34 from the Sinnoh region. Now, what this means to me is that they do not want to show a lot of these Pokemon. See, there are no starters from Gen 4 that were updated. That means the only way they can make it into the expansion pass, either of the DLC, is if they got an update like right when the DLC came out for Pokemon Home Support. And I highly doubt that's going to happen. They left out so many of here. And to me, the reason is clear. I think that with the DLC, everything happening, they don't want to add all these uh, Sinnoh Pokemon back. Because then when they make the Gen 4 remakes, probably next year is when they're going to release. You know, a lot of the Pokemon in this list aren't going to be that special anymore. Because we've already seen them, caught them, battled with them in Sword and Shield. Now there are some returning, of course. It was shown that Luxray is in the trailer. Luxray is returning to Sword and Shield, along with other Gen 4 Pokemon. But it's quite clear they don't want to bring a lot of them back in Sword and Shield. They want to save them for the remakes that are coming in the future. Now, going past that, we got Blitzel, Zebstrika, Swaddle, Swadloon, Levani, and I think Alomomola is Gen 5. But, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 6 Pokemon in comparison to 34 right here. 6 to 34. I mean, just look at that. That's less than a. That's less than 20% for Gen 5 compared to Gen 4. And then, besides that. I mean, just look at this. This is so small. We got three Pokemon for Gen 6, two Pokemon for Gen 7. And it's just Clawitzer and Clauncher. Clawitzer evolves into Clauncher. You know, that's the only thing that wasn't given support. Now, looking at this comment, just a reminder, Sword and Shield did split up Caterpie and Weedle and with Petalil and Cottony. That's true. Caterpie line is in Sword and Shield. The Weedle line isn't. So we could possibly see things like that coming in the future, but for now, this is the list of Pokemon that have a very, very low chance of making it into Sword and Shield. Now, of course, like I said before, this does not in any way mean that Pokemon that are not on this list are going to make it. I think there are a lot of Pokemon that are not seen on this list that are not going to end up making it into the Isle of Armor or the Crown Tundra. That's just what I think. So guys, that is going to be it for this Pokemon news video. We don't have much more to explain today, but otherwise, there's not much more to explain. But right here, this is just fan art. This is not confirmed anyway. But we just have a fan art showing what the shiny forms might be for the Galarian Articuno, Galarian Zapdos, and Galarian Moltres. Now, I think while these look super cool, I don't think it'll be like around the beak in this area. You know, it's kind of a bit too dark blue. Not too much, like, shading differences, so... Stuff probably won't look exactly like this. You know, it might not even be like this at all. These green right here, you know, they could be just rainbows. We have no idea what Game Freak's gonna do. You know, we've seen some pretty bad shinies before, but... They also got them for the new Reggies. You know, you got this one right here. I could definitely see this happening, but... Yeah, these are definitely in no way confirmed. Wow, this looks like an 8-bit Pokemon. But, yeah. None of this is confirmed whatsoever, but... Yeah, keep this list in mind. So, a lot of these Pokemon, while there are a lot of stuff here, like uh, Pidgey through Parasect, that's only five Pokemon, there are a lot of Pokemon that are not going to be returning, because if you count up this whole list, this whole list consumes of around 50 Pokemon, and if you look up the total Pokemon ever, there's around, this is going to be close to 900 Pokemon right now. So, if you take back all the ones from previous generations, and then you realize that Game Freak said in both DLC it'll be adding 100 back. While currently in Sword and Shield, we have 400 Pokemon right now, just about around 430 with the Pokemon Home stuff. 430 plus 100 plus 100, that's only 630. We're still missing around 300 Pokemon, so with that, a lot of these Pokemon will not be returning. So just remember that. Don't be too hyped about this, but yeah, this is pretty much confirming Pokemon that won't be returning. So I just zoomed this in really far. 54% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. If you're one of those people, 
Maybe you thought you're subscribed because my videos keep getting recommended to you, but maybe they aren't. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet because we're going to have a lot of new content coming with the DLC. I'll be live making videos all the time, so make sure to stay hyped for that. It's going to be awesome, guys. So if you haven't subbed yet, make sure to do so, and I'll see you guys next time.